somewhat spared success in this Premier Club competition. Glenora shared the title with Easton back in 1962, while Teatatu won the National Club Championship in 1986. Uh, but they made it to the club final only to lose out to Mount Albert. It's been a testing sort of year for the Teatatu player coach Ron O'Regan. Uh, the ex-Kiwi has taken an added responsibility this year as a rookie player coach. Well, could he mould that team to its first ever success? Tony Palmer has the finals teams. There are some classic player battles in these lineups. For Glenora, most of the playmaking will come through halfback Phil Bancroft and standoff Kelly Shelford. But there's great strength also in the second row with Lonergan and Pine behind Burgoyne, Mann and Hiley. Glenora on paper has the stronger pack. Teata 2 will doubtless want to play to their strength, which is pace and penetration out wide with Ropati, Ilya and Panapa, who should be well fed by player coach Ron O'Regan at standoff. The duels will be between the respective standoffs, hookers and second rowers. The referee for today's Auckland Grand Final is the calm, almost casual Dennis Hale. An excellent referee, particularly at playing advantage. And the favourite on paper really must be Glenora, the winner of the last two encounters between these sides. Early in the season, Teatro 2 beat Glenora 28-16. In the latter two encounters, 32-6 and 30-0 have been the scores in favour of Glenora. Both of them fairly one-sided encounters. There are some excellent duels here today between players, particularly the standoff position where Glenora has Kelly Shelford and for Teata 2, the captain, coach, kicker and player, Ron O'Regan. O'Shea coming around off O'Regan, playing it himself. Teata 2 on attack early on in the game. This Glenora side have been a superb defensive side throughout the season and very consistent. Kiwi Mark Hoddle. First mistake of the game and it's a very fired up Teata 2 side. Taylor going nowhere. O'Regan waiting. Trying to get things settled down. He's bringing up Brown for a shot. Yeah, that was uh, the uh, outside backs being uh, not back from the scrum. Uh, they're in front of the second row, so that was a silly uh, mistake by Glenora. So Brown for the line, and they're right up now. 12 metres out. Eva Robart, well held. Five or six metres from the line. The other two on attack. Nice pass. Defence being well marshalled. They'll have to be sharp to find a way through there. Will Party, yes, is he there? What does Dennis Hale say? Yes. Peter Roll Party, let's look at it again. Peter Roll Party, just from dummy half, saw the gap. Went over for the try, and actually he scored quite a few tries this year from uh, by doing that. And uh, on that occasion, Glenora defence was a little bit lacking. Good try to the to just uh, what they really wanted. Bancroft again. Nagatogia keeps it in. Ryan, release! Magic! Got another throw! Another mistake from Teata 2, and it's going to cost them. See the very calming influence there of Dennis Hale, the referee. He doesn't rant and rave, he just talks quietly. Very good at keeping a game flowing. There's the battle between Shelford and O'Regan. Checkmate on that occasion. Thirty minutes of the game have gone as Phil Bancroft attempts from straight in front. And yes, it's there. Flag's a little slow to come up. But it's now 4-3, 4-2. He's been talking since the outset. 
your uh, team as a team have really only made two mistakes in the game so far. A shortage of vigour there. Bancroft again. Was on the fault. So mistake number three for Bancroft and Glenora, uh, the, the Glenora side. Shout to ball. Taylor waiting. Whips around the side over the 22 metre line. Looking for support now. Nagatogia. Right up there, but it didn't come back for O'Regan. Here's O'Shea. Trying to run it himself. Midway 22 and goal line now. Right up on attack. Still good Glenora defence. Vital time in the game now, leading up to half time. As Taylor goes wider. Peter Brown looking around to get the pass away. Ops to take the tackle. 10 metres out. Going himself, looking for a pass. He'll get to convert his own try. Look here, Jim had all the pressure on here, and uh, he knew the two players were on the deck there. Peter Brown, one dummy, two dummies, went in for the try. A good props try, that, and uh, I think uh, he'd be very happy with it. There you go. He knew two players were on the ground, slipped past, dummy once, dummy twice, and in for the try. 33 minutes gone as Peter Brown... Puts the extra points on the board, and it is 10-2, to two, Tiara 2. And I think Lenora might be worried. Roll party having a superb game at hooker. Lively play, really, from Tiara 2. Terry O'Shea gets a pass away. This is brilliant play by Teatid here. Juan Oregon saw that they uh, had Glenora shot out wide and a brilliant pass there by uh, Panapa. Terry O'Shea inside and look at Mark Elliott go. He just saw the gap and flew through it. And this, this is uh, a mark of a good player and a player playing with a lot of confidence. It was a whistle went there in the meantime, but it's nothing wrong with the try. Brilliant play here. Terry O'Shea just slipped it back inside and look at Mark go. Boy, he put on the skids, didn't he? Under the post, no one near him. Well, on a good day, when Mark Elia is at full pace, there's no player in the country who's quicker. He has that rare talent of genuine acceleration. And Peter Brown makes the extra two look easy. Lenora, desperately in need of tries. Suffering a substantial disadvantage. A bit of protest there against uh, Tony Bodica's tackling. I think they have to go for the two points here, but uh, they desperately need some points on the board, and uh, it would have been good to get six points here. They're putting the pressure on, but... Well, two points is as good as any, I suppose, at this stage of the game. Well, it's certainly one that Bancroft can slot. And he does. Well, I think Graham Carter might have had a few words to say at half-time because they look to come out really fired up uh, for the second half, Glenora. As a result of which, Brown kicks for the line. And goes five metres into... Lenore is half. Roll party. And look at the 
ground that's Giannis who might. They make it very quickly indeed and very efficiently. A shame. Some space back inside. Oh, yes, superb running one through. Sam Potter for finishing it. Beautifully put together. A Regan deciding to change things. That's right, coming to the blind side. Ronnie gave it out to uh, Peter Brown. That was a good pass to the fullback, Met Megatogia. And inside, backing up Sam Panapa. And he put on the speed and went to the line for a great try. Good try, Tiara, too. The very deliberate style of Peter Brown, the Kiwi prop and kicker, making it 22, and the flags are up. 22 to 4. Well, uh, boy, Tiara, too, really playing good football today. And uh, Peter Brown, I think, is having a top game. He's really uh, doing his Kiwi chances no harm out here today. 22 forward down and 15 minutes gone in the second half. It's the other two defence getting there so quickly. They're really just not making yardage at all. Gee, was that was a big hit there by the other two. He's given a high for a high tackle, but uh, looked legal to me. I don't think it was in a, if it was in a test match, it would have been legal. Dennis Halo was right on the spot. Let's look at it again. Dean Lonergan running hard again. Yeah, I don't, I can't see that was around the head at all. It's just three players going in very hard. There's actually some of them as well. Well, I think he's a little unlucky, really. It's actually Carl Robertson who got hit. Looked a little like Lonergan. Well, you can see the marks there on Carl Robertson. Sam Panapa is missing from the centres for Teatatu. I think they'll close ranks for long enough to get him back on. But it's the best opportunity that Glenora have had. Ooh. That was high. Now that was a high tackle. And that's silly from Peter Brown. He's going off. Well, that's not unlucky, that's plain silly. And he's getting sent off for his troubles. Dean Lonergan was keen to um, impress upon him how silly he thought it was. But that's just uh, stupidity for somebody of Peter Brown. Just a reaction, but you could ill afford that, certainly at his class of play. Well, this has really opened up the game now. They've got one on the cinema and one sent off. They're on attack. If they can score here, they'll be right back in the game. And I told a lie a few minutes ago, Glenora have just got a better opportunity. Two down. Three tries. They are midway 22 in goal line. 15 minutes of this game remain. Bancroft decides to go back and wide. The tacklers are all there though. No holes in Elia's defense. Morton puts it wide. Shelford's in there. Trying to find space, good tackling still, just a couple of metres out, under the goalposts. Penalty to, for taking the ball off him. Kelly Shelford with the ball. Shelford looking for that line, he's there, he's yes. There is a payoff, unpopular with the crowd, but a payoff for Glenora through Kelly Shelford. Glenora's first try. Look at Shelford. 
Yeah, well, it had to come, didn't it? The pressure was on uh, Te Aratu with two men short, and uh, it was a quick penalty taken by Kelly Shelford and scored under the post. This really opens up the game now. He's very strong from these uh, positions, Kelly Shelford, and he scores a lot of tries. He's very strong up top, very hard to stop. A try converted, so 22 to 10 now. Take it, although a little ungainly. Hard luck to Panapa, and they're going to run away over the 22 metre line. Good tackle, Terry O'Shea. Now Glenora looking dangerous. Some very tired players out there as Ronald Reagan makes the tackle. Bancroft pushed back, still gets the pass up. Desperate tackling right on the line. Lenora looking to get through, yes. Greg Hiley. And they might just come back. I've really put, it's really put them back in the game, this try. Good play, lead up work by Lenora, good six tackles, and Greg Hiley spotted the gap, went over for the try. Very strong lad, this. He's uh, been playing really well for Auckland this year and for Lenora. He's one of the backbone of the uh, Glenora pack. The Bancroft kicking boots are still in touch. 22 to 16. And what a ball game we've got on our hands now. There's a lot of tired boys out there for Te Feel a little bit sorry for their pack because they've tackled so well. But Glenora right back in the game now. What a character full performance from Tiaratu. There is the full time Uda. Taylor Hull's possession. And Dennis Hale blows full time. He's given a penalty. No, he hasn't. Stop. I thought it was blowing full time. He's given a penalty to Tiaratu. Full time showing on the clock. The Hooter is gone. Come on, Gina. So the first stoppage from here. There's not much injury time, to my knowledge in the referee's hands. And Tiaratu looking like the Fox Memorial winners for 1988. Oh, That's the 22. Raw party starting to feel the pain a little. Terry O'Shea has a go and drop. Misses. Certainly was worth a try. We're in injury time now as Glenora runs it back at Teatro 2. In the referee's hands for time. Playing injury time. There can't be much of it. As Bancroft is sewn up. That is the end of the match. And Teatro 2 are the Fox Memorial winners for 1988, having gone into this match as underdogs. They took the play to Glenora. They tested Glenora's defence. When their own defence was tested, it held up brilliantly. What a character-filled performance from this fired-up Teatro 2 side under the direction of Ron O'Regan. And what a fitting victory, 22-16. Teatro 2 over Glenora.